They cannot. <sighs> I don't know. This is really frustrating. Monday. <laughs> yeah. So, for those who do not know me, my name is Lisa and I'm a research group leader in the uh, LMU, it's the Ludwig Maximilians University in Munich, Germany. And I'm starting, so I'm telling you my story here with these vlogs. For those of you who were, who are back, Welcome back! <laughs> Let's start a new week <laughs> on Monday. So. Next Monday is the course for the Git and for the OSIN, that's the Open Science Initiative in Medicine. And we're doing a Git course because Git is important to keep track of changes that we do in data so that is always transparent what we're doing and how everything was done in which sequence. One of the team, Adam, gave me feedback on some mistakes that I made in the, in the material that we have to send to the students. And that's what I'm going to do today because I want them to have it one week before yeah, so that they can prepare their computers and get the software that they need beforehand. And then we can start on Monday on the 12th at 9 o'clock in the morning, on time, <laughs> hopefully. Um, it's going to be a three hour course. So that is going to be really, really cool. That's basically the most important thing. The rest are the courses, of course. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And I have my breakfast now. So I got today a puta pretzel. It's really good. From this company that I got it is not the best. And I have to say that since the prices started to go up, the quality has diminished a lot. But still, it's very, very good. So, one thing that I forgot to tell you. <laughs> Today we have to pass our little ones, that means we have to put them in a new container and I'm running out of glass containers, so like this petri dishes. So that means I have to wash, put them in water, pack them and autoclave them so that they are ready. And that is the only disadvantage of using reusable material, like what we're doing. Instead of using plastic containers and throwaway containers, I'm using glass. It is, it, it saves us a lot of money and I think it saves a lot of resources. But that means that I have to wash them now <laughs> and pack them. So I will show you how I'm doing it and I think I'll, I'll be showing you while I'm talking uh, how I do it and all the steps that we have to do. So now they have to stay overnight in the still water because I need to make sure that all the soap or detergents that I use are removed. Tetrahimena is very sensitive to chemicals in the media and on the plates. I think that's for today. Um, I'll be just keep going with the course and see you tomorrow. Okay, bye! Good morning. As you can see, it's starting to get really, really dark in the morning. So, yeah. Hey, since I have to, um, I have to get the glasses dry now. I decided I'll tell you well what is going on today while I do this. Um. to keep going on the courses uh, it's getting closer closer the semester starts uh, on the second week of 
yeah, on the second week of October. Um, so I have to have a lot of stuff ready for that time. And yeah, that's basically all what I have to kind of tell you. Today is not much. I have a, I have to go and check the, the lecture hall uh, to see what kind of called didactic material is there available like that the I mean all rooms usually have a projector and a way to connect your computer to the uh, to the projector but uh, yeah each one is a little bit different and I don't want to have a delay starting the course just because I'm not able to deal with the digital stuff so yeah so I'll take you along you will get to see uh, the Clinicum Grosshaven is the biggest clinic here in uh, part of the LMU University Oopsie. and um, yeah it's uh, I want to say pretty building <laughs> but it's big enough and apparently it's in they are doing some restorations or things like that because they told me I might not be able to find the the, the lecture hall so uh, it's good that I'm going today and check it out now to Gross Adam that's the Clinicum Gross Adam is the biggest hospital here from the LMU and I have to check if the lecture hall is okay so yeah or not if it's okay, but I have to check what things are in the lecture hall so I can so I can plan the course properly. Okay, see you later. the little ones ready for a mating experiment yeah. and the rest I will find out as soon as I read the emails now I forgot to update you yesterday I went to the lecture hall and it was it is really nice uh, but the technique was really old and I'm so grateful for the people from the technique department because they found a connector and we could try different conditions and different resolutions of the <laughs> of this connector um yeah it's but it was a lot of fun so it took me almost i think it took us almost one hour to get it up and running and testing all the different things that we have to do in the training so i'm really thankful that they are there and that they have the time for it. I'm happy I went before and I look at it. I have to reserve the hood because I noticed last time that we were having some conflict with um, the other members that are working here. Um, we have a little calendar and probably because I haven't been in the lab so long, like in the last months, working a lot um we kind of like yeah forgot that we have to use this calendar and now i everybody knows that i need it on that time it's not like it's my place but if somebody has a conflict they can talk to me and we can find oops we can find um kind of like an arrangement and I can move it a little bit forward or a little bit later it's not a big deal it's just that it's kind of like the way that we communicate here in the lab which I think is good so that everybody can plan their things yeah it's not that bad right now because we're like five people or three people yeah three people at the moment but, but once my students get here we will be about five yeah five in the lab gets tight if we use only one Oops. if we use only one <sighs> one hood So, 
the day is over. And we tired. Or and um, yeah, so I had the meeting with the FIO group and we decided that next week I'll be going to them and do the assays there. He was really impressed about how fast my little ones are. Um, you guys saw them already uh, from the last video, so yeah, they are fast. So we will see if it works. If not, I mean, at least we tried. Um, and in the meantime, I'm doing some uh, conditions here and reading some papers, so it's not, it's, it's never lost the information or the whole assay. So yeah, we'll see. And I'm really ready for home. Uh, these courses are driving me nuts. <laughs> it's a lot. Bye bye. Hello, good morning. This is the second time I tried to make them, like playing around with the concentrations and see if we can get them better imaged. This is still part of the field project. So before I do anything, even get my coffee, I have to make them because it takes about seven hours. Now I have to reserve the hood for the mating for tomorrow. Okay, the grunt. Okay. Uh, sorry. We just look at the money that is available for this year and we found out that because even though I pass a plan for every single year and when do we have to give the money away yeah because of reasons that I don't know but the government approved the money with other budget meaning the money, the full money is there. So everything is there, but they distribute it in a way that is giving me a really big problem because I need to buy a machine that costs uh, around 131,000 euros. Um, the budget is there, <laughs> but they distribute the money, this 131,000 for like the three years i cannot buy a machine in three years by pieces <laughs> i cannot i have to buy it from the company in one payment uh, i don't know what i'm going to do right now we are trying to put plan a b and c and try to figure out how we can do that and try to convince them that i really need to buy the machine <laughs> And the, 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 the institute does not have the money to cover all that cost. And like, oh yeah, let's give Lisa this year 131,000. Uh, and she will pay us back. I mean, they don't, they cannot. I don't know. This is really frustrating. So yeah. So I have to write a couple of emails and try to find a way to go around this or try to convince them that I really need the money is this year or next year will be even more expensive. Without that machine, we cannot do the third part of the project. That means the last year we have to change the whole thing or I mean, I don't know if it's even possible because they, uh, of course I pass a plan and I pass 
certain projects, certain certain results that we are expecting, but without the machine, I cannot. I we build everything based on a certain assays that are only possible through that machine. I just don't know. I'm. I'm speech. Less. Yeah. So. I'll tell you more when something happens. Hey, good morning. Friday is here. Uh, I'm still a bit shocked from yesterday's things with the grant. But today I have to set again a mating experiment from paperwork. I don't want to even think about it. But yeah, that's a Friday. Uh, so I will start the mating, drink my coffee. And then go, then, then start again with the courses. Isn't it fun? So, see you later.